Come on. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on in here. I'm going to update you guys on this hoof that I treated for the deep soca thrush. It's completely healed. And I'm going to pick it out and show you guys that it's completely healed. And I used the white lightning to heal it. Here, Bubba. It's cold. My stomach was hurting because I ate too many dates. <laughs> I forget. I can't have those in, in a lot of stuff. They're in my paleo. You better hold your foot up so I can get all this dirt out. So I can show the people your hoof is all better. <sighs> the hole was right here. And you can see there's absolutely no hole. You see that? completely all healed there's nothing see how it's nothing going in there so he healed up completely from the thrush and what i've been doing because it's been kind of muddy and icky is like every few days i pick them out and then i put i'll show you the product that i've been putting on because i don't want them to get thrush again and so i keep them clean like every few days it's, I think it's called hoof sole or something like that. It's, I'll show it to you. It smells really good. And it's natural. Let's do this one. And make sure all your hoofies are clean. Mrs. Nosy Bear, don't do that. Jamie, her face is right in my face. Because I have carrots in my pocket. <laughs> she can smell them. I was going to take them for a walk, but I think I'm not going to do that today. I'm not feeling up to it. But I just wanted to sh show you guys. All oh, his hooves are good. Oh, you're so silly, Jamie. She's nudging my... You guys want your carrots? Is that what you want? So see that? It's good. There's no holes. Your foot is absolutely poopy, though. He jumped at the noise. See where she is? She's right there. Hey, you're all right, buds. You guys couldn't see because my camera kept shutting off. He's completely trace clipped with a Irish clip. Goes all the way down. Her too. But she's now got her medium weight blanket on because it was cold out. <laughs> it gets cold and hot. Come on, Bubba. You see? So... I'm not left-handed, so this is kind of hard. Okay, Jamie, she's right behind me, nudging my butt and sniffing me all over because I have carrots in my pocket. Don't do that. He needs to figure her out. So he blew two abscesses right here. You can see it's dark because there's holes there. Okay, can we do your hoof? Yeah, she's like, want a carrot? You can get a carrot when you hold still. For me come here i see so this was her leg that goes off and on lame and it's just because however she heard it or whatever she's trying to get the carrots out of my pocket oh she did okay not eat it out of my pocket like that he gets one first here baby you are so naughty naughty kid naughty kid he's like oops i dropped it and of course it went in the palette so it's gone forever come here can i do your other hoof can you not try to take carrots from me when i'm doing your hoof Ugh. i'm not giving them any more hay she's got like half a bale of first out here that she hasn't even touched i think stuff's growing now because we had a, like a hot spell so her hoof smells good because I'm gonna show you what I put in there can I finish come here can I finish okay let me finish okay but queen let me see okay ho ho <clears throat> Ugh. I'm not gonna do their water today either like I said my stomach's hurting 
I'm not feeling up to a lot of stuff right now. Hey, just let me finish. Okay. I'm going this way. Okay, let me do this. Oh, no bears. She's got twigs in her butt. They've been going in the weeds. Okay, I'll be. Okay, no, no, we're not kicking. So I have the other videos how I treated the, the thrush, and you can watch those. I'll try to attach them and link them. But they're good. All their feet are good. Okay, now you get a carrot because you were a good baby. Here. Take the whole thing, piggy. So that's them. <laughs> so yeah, I try to do things as natural as possible and the white lightning for the hooves, I prayed for and just recently learned that like in the last year. So I'm always learning. Even though I've been around horses for so long, still always learning. So see that mess that she's doing? She's been reaching over. This is the hay she can't eat. This is the hay they shouldn't be eating. And she's been reaching over, so I don't know what's wrong with them. They get so much hay and they want to eat the old garbage that's hidden behind the electric fence. You know, it gets so annoying. These you can get a dime a dozen at the resale shops. So because their water is gross, what I'm going to do is, I don't know if it's supposed to warm up or not. It's been relatively above freezing temperatures, so this is going to just have to get dumped out. It's a mess. But yeah, they're water. There's a lot of work. I sing I love you to the water, and I think it helps, you know, because... You can watch some of the attached videos that I've done on other videos of mine about frequencies. And there was something one of the guys, or I think it was Rob Skiba, that had mentioned when God was creating the earth. He never created the watery deep. It was always there. And he noticed that and he brought that point out. And then I watched another guy whose video I linked about frequencies. And he had mentioned that he thinks water is a sentient being because people thought stuff and touched water and looked at it under uh, I don't know if it was the the frozen you know try to put this here so that baby racehorse mare doesn't get into it. She's so naughty. Naughty bears. I tell you, she's naughty. She gets bored up here. So this is the bag of hair from shaving them. I did sweep up as best as I could. But what's left here? Like the birds can come and get this and weave it into their nest it's so soft soft and downy and beautiful can you imagine this getting woven into a little bird's nest how warm it will make it okay enough of my tree hugging <laughs> enough of my tree hugging rant oh you're a good babies yes they want to get out for the day Oh, <sighs> I'm just so tired. I'm so weak and tired. I don't know if I have energy to walk these guys. Maybe I'll just do a little bit. She's like, I want your carrots, Mommy. I know you have to take them out of my pocket, you. All right. So that's them. They've got weeds in their tails because they've been foraging. 
think that's why they're not eating their hay. Because you're going foraging. They're looking for grass to come in. But yeah, aren't you guys happy? I praise and glory to the Most High God for healing him. You know, in all ways. In all ways. And you baby racehorse mare. Mm -hmm. Are you? Yeah, so these guys are two thoroughbreds. Sometimes handling thoroughbreds, you almost want to be in a state of mind where you're kind of tired. And I don't mean bad tired, but just relaxed tired. Because it almost makes you non-reactive if they react. You know what I mean? So that's why I'm kind of considering, but my stomach still kind of hurts. Ugh. So yeah, I'm not sure what I want to do yet. Oh. Well, anyways, I'm going to end that video. I just wanted to show an update on their hooves and their legs and me rubbing the comfrey tincture on her leg for... It's called bone knit, but it does help with other things. So whatever was going on with her, it's been helping her to heal. And I'm keeping that in the car, so if she has a day where she's feeling a little off, I'll rub it on. But this is the product mixed with this mixed with vinegar creates, see, by mixing with two ounces of white vinegar in a non-metallic container, the re it results in generated chlorine dioxide, C1O2 gas. Place the liquid and hoof into